Hi, this is Sam from Teacher Dauntis. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we are going to learn digital note taking using Microsoft OneNote application. So the first video is going to be anatomy of Microsoft OneNote in which we are going to see what are the different structures and features that are offered in Microsoft OneNote. I'm not gonna sell you Microsoft OneNote because of anything special. Many note-taking apps have the similar kind of features. It's just that Microsoft is more versatile. I feel that university schools and colleges are using Microsoft platform and so many other reasons. That is why I think that Microsoft OneNote is amazing as a note-taking app. So let's just dive into how the Microsoft OneNote looks. A quick Google search on Microsoft OneNote. And this is the option. If you live in United States, you will click this one. I live in Canada. I would go to the Canada English one. And uh, if you are in India, of course, you would click India or any other country. Uh, this is where you would find Microsoft OneNote, how to sign up for it. So to start with, it's going to be free for you. And once you get into university or into any higher secondary education program, then you can use your uh, the program provided by your school, which will give you like 200 gigabytes or one terabyte storage anyways. And if not, then uh, if you use it wisely, then you can actually keep your storage always limited to five gigabytes. Here I see that how you organize your notes, how you can use a, a pen or Apple Pencil to annotate on the Microsoft OneNote or draw things or write in your handwriting. And uh, you can also share and collaborate with other people. Multiple people can use the same Microsoft OneNote so that you can create documents or notes as a team. And uh, you can organize, you can create tags, which are amazing. Tags are an option when you feel that this thing is number based, this thing is fact based, this thing is something that you have to memorize, this thing is something that you want to come back to, or this thing is a tricky concept that every time you struggle with it, all those different type of tags you can create, you can customize them, and then you can put it on the note so that once you review it later, you would you can just go through a quick summary from the tag only. Also, you can cross-reference different things across the disciplines. If you have like few different courses or a few different disciplines, then you can cross-reference them using the tags. Um, ink is amazing. You can draw things. Honestly, in some time, I have been uh, weaning off from using ink uh, with my Apple iPad as well as Pencil. I've been trying, I've been doing less and less of it. It's just that my use of Microsoft OneNote with my laptop or with my MacBook has been so more, more efficient in some way. And you really don't need so much of ink because uh, when you type something, it's more searchable. When you write something, your handwriting may compromise with it. So when the lecture is going on, if you are in habit of taking notes with your pencil, then that's an excellent way of uh, being engaged with the lecture, as well as making sure that what the instructor is saying, you are jotting it down and it's a very active process. So it keeps you awake. You do not snooze off during the lecture. And it also helps you to later on in the, in the post lecture note taking part, you can actually transcribe all those notes into uh, into proper text format using the typing keyboard. The more you get worse with typing and uh, writing down things and creating tables and creating flowcharts, then you would actually move away from writing notes or handwritten notes eventually. But uh, that comes later in this in this course or in this video series. Uh, then you can also record videos as well as audios into your OneNote. You can clip any YouTube video that you find, like for example, there was a question, there is a slide from your instructor, then you can also put a video next to it from YouTube, which help you understand this concept better. So that next time it's in your notebook, like if you had a physical notebook, would you be ever able to associate that note with a, with a YouTube video or with certain kind of video link? No, right? So that is a wonderful option that uh, OneNote gives you that right there into your notebook, you would have a video, a blog post, any clipping from another article, any Wikipedia link, all those things can be associated, can be arranged right in front of you in that one notebook page. So how cool is that? Also, you can clip and save one of the most active process which I use uh, during online lectures is clip and save. I avoid, uh, avoid printing out my PowerPoints ahead of the time because that's not an active process for me. If it's already there, then probably I would snooze off or I'll be distracted for some reason. But what I do is I, I clip and save and I clip, I take a clip shot, I take a screenshot of this uh, lecture slide 
and I paste it in my OneNote. Sometimes instructors annotate on their PowerPoint slide while they are giving the lecture. They would draw a new diagram which suddenly, boom, oh, that's amazing, I want that. You would take a screenshot of your screen or if it's on a whiteboard in front of you, then you can actually take a picture and transfer it right there to your Microsoft OneNote. If you're using iPad, you can just click on the camera button, insert camera, and it will take that screenshot from the whiteboard straight into your Microsoft OneNote. If it's too complicated to draw or if it's gonna take you a long time, then this is a good idea. And you can share your notes and notebook. You can export it in PDF format. There is a lot, lot more to offer. The cool thing is OneNote runs across your devices. Uh, you can use it on your cell phone to browse like when you are somewhere away, then you can use your cell phone as your notebook and start reading through your cell phone. It is It works on iPad, on Microsoft Surface and Microsoft devices, of course, any Android or any iOS device. You would not see a download button here. So I always uh, know that Microsoft is sneaky this way. They want you to buy the Microsoft Office, which we don't have to. So what I do is I write download OneNote here on my Google search and boom, right here, this is the place how you can download Microsoft OneNote on your Mac or your PC for free. Okay, so you'll click the download button, you will save it and I'll see you in the next part. So this was just a quick preview of my Skillshare course on Microsoft OneNote digital note taking. Please check out the link in the description below and join the course for free using that link. Bye for now. If you are a student and still making notes using simple old school pen and paper, then this course is going to be a life changer for you. This one course is going to take you from old school paper based note taking towards digital note taking using Microsoft OneNote. Using Microsoft OneNote, you can handwrite notes or type it up using your laptop. There are so many ways, but this is going to transform the way you learn things, the way you memorize. And there are so many small trips and tricks for exam, focus, studies, and note taking that I'm going to discuss in this one course right here. Some people try to jot down every single thing that is being discussed in their lectures into their note taking, but I will teach you how to make sure your notes are customized towards acing your exam and learning the content which is most important and relevant to the course. We all strive to be the perfect student and make those perfect notes and in this course we will learn using Microsoft OneNote how can you have the notes that will help you ace your exams. So welcome to my Skillshare course on how to take digital notes using Microsoft OneNote. My name is Sam from Teach Odontist. I'm a YouTuber, a dentistry student, a teacher at Community College and I also have courses on Udemy which is on how to ace competitive exams and how to prepare for a dental school interview. And that's enough about me. Let's jump right into digital note taking with Microsoft OneNote. Join using my affiliate link as given below or somewhere on the screen and you would get one month of free subscription for Skillshare where you can go through this course for free and many other amazing courses on Skillshare. So join now and let's start learning Microsoft OneNote today.